Hey, what is going on guys and welcome to the video. Now the vehicle I've got for you today is one of the grossest vehicles I have ever had in my garage. It's a 2012 Chevy Traverse and your jaws are going to hit the floor when I show you the inside. Now just before I show you the biohazard waiting inside, which is anything but good, let's set the tone for what you're going to see by taking a look around what has clearly been a harshly abused vehicle. The paint is pretty disgusting and I think it's safe to say that the previous owner of this vehicle didn't care about it in any way. Now opening the door and this goes from bad to maybe we should just burn it in a matter of seconds. As you can see there's mountains of rat turds in here and the smell was one of the most pungent odors I've ever experienced. There's so much dirt embedded in the carpets that they're just solid brown in spots. And as we work our way further into the vehicle, it's pretty clear there was an entire herd of mice living in here at one point. Although that's only one part of the story here because the rest of the mind blowing disaster was human made. But just before I get to work on what will be one of the longest details I've ever done, make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you haven't already. It's the best way to make sure you don't miss out on future videos. And if you've got the bell on, you'll get notified the moment my new videos go live each week. All right guys, well, I'm not sure what to say other than if I manage to get that vehicle looking new again, it's going to be nothing short of a miracle. So as always, sit back, relax, and enjoy the transformation. Okay guys, well getting to work on the Traverse now, and you might be able to tell, but some of the dirt and crud on the paint is really stuck on after sitting for a few years. So unfortunately the pressure washer isn't quite able to cut through that, though it should come off during the wash stage. And a little bit later in the video, I'll share with you guys my thoughts on this particular model of vehicle, so stay tuned for that. Alright, well starting on the tailgate now where the good written here is still giving me a chuckle. But anyways, to give you some background on the vehicle, it's got about 257,000 kilometers on it or about 160,000 miles and spent all of its life on an Indian reserve nearby. Though it sat basically abandoned for the last couple of years until it was sold and obviously the new owner picked this vehicle up dirt cheap and brought it to me to hopefully salvage, although it could have just as easily ended up in a scrapyard and some people might say that's probably where it should have gone. Working my way around the vehicle and I wanted to quickly let you guys know that I've got another day in the life video coming to the second channel, the Detail Geek 2, in a couple of days from now, so be sure to check that out as I let you guys in on a pretty big secret, but until then you can check out the Studio Build series where there's 8 episodes so far documenting the construction process of the new detailing studio I'm building, and I'm sure you guys will enjoy those.
All right, well, starting on the door jams, and for the first time ever, I had to put my respirator on while doing this, so I didn't have to smell the inside of this vehicle, if that gives you any indication of how truly disgusting this thing is. Okay, well as you can probably imagine after being treated the way this vehicle has been, the paint is in really bad shape, so the next step to getting that looking good again is to chemically decontaminate it using some iron remover, and after I've sprayed that on the whole vehicle and it's turned purple to let me know it's working, I'll simply get it sprayed off with the pressure washer. Okay, well it's time for the moment I'm sure most of you are waiting for, and that is to watch me heave-ho all the seats out of here so you can see what kind of goodies are waiting underneath them all. And I can't say there was anything too shocking, aside from the pair of shoes that the mice had clearly been snacking on, but while I work on cleaning up all the bigger pieces of garbage and debris that would end up clogging my vacuum, I wanted to just say that the design of the second row seats is about one of the dumbest things I've ever seen. I've detailed hundreds of vehicles across different makes and models, and the way these are bolted into the vehicle made it extremely difficult to get them out. Whoever is responsible for this should have been fired and not allowed to work in the automotive industry ever again. Harsh words I know, but it's really bad.
working my way around with the vacuum. And it's time for this week's members question, which comes from Bailey. And it's what has been your best and worst memory while doing your details? So maybe it's recency bias here, but right now I'd say my worst memory was getting these second row seats out. I'm going to call it now and this detail is going to be my least favorite of the year and will win at least one award in the DG Awards at the end of the year. But as for the best, I'm honestly not sure, but one moment that sticks out to me was when I detailed the Tesla Model 3 and was able to summon the car into the garage. That was pretty cool. Okay, well up here in the driver's foot, well I think it's clear that this Traverse has absolutely terrible carpet in it, and as a result, while I always aim for perfection in my details, with a vehicle that has been abused like this, it would be foolish to think I could get every inch of it looking new again, though I will do everything in my power to get it looking as good as I possibly can. Okay, getting to work on extracting now, and as usual, I always start with the seats so they have the most amount of time to dry out, but with how gross these are, I'm using my medium green drill brush today because it's got more bite than the soft white ones, and I'm going to need it. Now, if any of you are in the market for drill brushes, I've got both sets available on my website at detailgeekautocare.com, and honestly, these are a tool I couldn't possibly detail without, so I'd highly recommend giving them a look.
Okay, starting on one of the dirtier sections here, and for a section as bad as this, I already know that I'll be repeating the process at least once, but I always work until I don't see any more improvement. So to tackle this section, I'm making sure to hit the carpet from two different angles, and I'm really agitating with the drill brush so I can get as much of the embedded dirt loosened up as possible. Though with cheap Velcro carpet like this, there's almost always going to be some that stays glued in. Here's the entire bucket full of dirty, smelly rat turd water pulled from the traverse. Gross. All right, well, starting on all the interior panels now, and the only way to tackle these is with some Detail Geek all-purpose cleaner diluted at heavy strength, which is four to one, and my McCulloch steamer with the brush attachment on, and you guys can see how quickly the steamer is able to obliterate the dirt here. And then it's just as simple as wiping it clean with a microfiber towel. So if any of you guys out there have ever thought to yourselves, man, I really need to get one of those steamers. Well, you'd be right. Not only do they work great for detailing, but they can make quick work of messes or grime in your house too. The link is down in the description for you and it will undoubtedly make all your household cleaning far easier. Now with the dirtiest parts of the interior able to be removed, I can leave the mess on my garage floor and get to work with the steamer getting these clean. And I have to say, it's really quite remarkable that a little bit of my all-purpose cleaner and the steamer can clean trim pieces like this in a matter of a minute. These were incredibly dirty and had probably been like this for nearly a decade. So I don't know about you, but I'm impressed.
Okay, with the interior clean now, I'll get to work on applying 303 to all the plastics in here, leaving them with a nice, deep, matte finish that looks incredible. Okay, well to finish the decontamination of the paint and get all the tar and any other surface bonded contaminants removed, I'm using some of my quick detailer to act as lubricant for the clay and will then remove it with one of my dual pile towels which are super plush and thankfully the tar is getting picked up pretty easily so it doesn't take long and the paint is perfectly clean and ready for some of my super secret spray. Now after having been warned when the vehicle was dropped off that the front passenger tire had a leak, I'll grab my compressor to fill it up for the third time in this detail and then I'll be doing it one more time before the owner picks it up so he can actually get the vehicle home.
right, well, an absolutely grueling 18 hours later and the Traverse is looking as good as humanly possible after being abused for years and infested with mice. It is ready for a new life with a new owner who will hopefully take care of it a little bit better. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this one, make sure you smash the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on future videos. Enjoy the guitar outro and I'll see you guys in the next one.